Everything is upsy-daisy. Here are five topsy-turvy facts about The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Fact 1. In 1830, the original French novel was written by Victor Hugo when he was just 28 years old. 200,000 words in six months, they say with a single bottle of ink. Meanwhile, I ate a whole churro in a single bite, so... They're not really the same at all. Victor Hugo also lived just a few miles away from where Walt Disney Animation Studios Paris would animate parts of his story a century and a half later. Back to One of the most lavish animated films ever made, Hunchback marked many firsts for Disney animation. For example, Phoebus was the first Disney animated hero with facial hair. Hunchback was also the first animated feature to be produced at the then new Walt Disney Animation Studios building where they still produce films today. It was also the first Disney animated feature partially animated in their Paris studio, and their presence on the production helped to add accuracy and other authentic French touches. While the French studio was bringing their own history to life, the production team in California was bringing animated crowds to life in a big way. Fact 3. This shot, and others like it in the film, represent the first of their kind in animation. Choreographing enormous crowds of 7,000 or more animated characters simply wasn't possible before Hunchback. CGI, computer-generated imagery, made it possible. The CGI animation team pulled it off by designing a core group of different characters and then animated a group of behaviors that could be assigned to any of them at any time. By adding over a hundred different combinations of clothing and colors, they were able to randomize the crowd even further. Computers were also used to create the endless stream of confetti that rains down throughout the celebration. This same program was also used to create burning embers in The Lion King. All in all, Hunchback was made possible by 620 artists, technical and production staff, 72,000 pencils, 1 million sheets of animation paper, and oh yeah, two amazing songwriters. Fact 4. Academy Award-winning lyricist Stephen Schwartz spent a lot of time in the actual Notre Dame Cathedral during production of the film. He would go up to the top of the bell tower early in the morning before anybody got there, look out at the city, and imagine what Quasimodo would see from up there. A lot of the song, Out There, came from that experience, which was the first song Schwartz and Academy Award-winning composer Alan Menken wrote for the film. They also attended a live organ recital in Notre Dame Cathedral, which had a massive influence on the score. So much so, that they recorded the score with a 100-year-old pipe organ and the Royal Opera Choir, a 100-member ensemble group in St. Paul's Church in London. Clearly, The Hunchback of Notre Dame excels because of the details, so let's end on three Easter eggs you may have missed. Fact 5. You can spot Belle from Beauty and the Beast walking down the streets of Paris. And in the very same shot, you can spot a man holding the magic carpet from Aladdin. Ooh, one more! In this shot, a lot of Disney fans claim to have spotted Pumbaa from The Lion King, but nope, that's not him. There really is a warthog-like gargoyle like that atop the real Notre Dame Cathedral. Sadly, uh, there are no real talking gargoyles named Victor and Hugo. Wait, Victor and Hugo are named that because Victor Hugo wrote the book. Okay, anyways, thanks for watching! Let us know what other Disney films you would like to learn more about, and I'll see you all out there!